Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We got Nate in the house, and we're on air. It's just that our bulb's blown out, but we are on air. We're going to do the second second video on the door. We left it because we want to show you exactly what's going on on the door. And the reason being is we want you to know exactly how I've done it and how I'm going about it. I have um, done nothing to it than, other than what we, what we did yesterday. And uh, that's all I've done to it. And uh, now we're back onto it. Now I did what I did yesterday. I can't get in that door now. It's locked shut because we have the hinges in the back and the hinges in the front. So what's going on here now is we come in here. <clears throat> we come in here. I have just exactly what happened yesterday. I've got the hinge connected here and the hinge connected here. Uh, Joanne said you're not going to be able to get the door or the hinges out. Well, what happens is when the door opens up, these loosen up and the door pulls out. We'll just wait a second. Not a very good looking piece of uh, crystal board. You can see right here, I could almost, I could weld that uh, inside hinge there, that would tighten that up, make it nice and strong. But what we want to do now is we want to make a piece of metal to, fa to face this, to make, make these hinges, or these plates here, stay in here nice and tight and right. I've got a piece of Bristol board that isn't much, but it does not matter uh, because, um, it does not matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it down the line, the edge of this line right here. I'm going to press in a few patterns here. I'm going to make a, a few shapes. That's, just want to know where the end is. Do this one down here. Got our scissors. Just going to look at that. We're going to try to make a nice patch or panel. So we want to make a panel that will cap the whole thing and hold them pieces in place. That's what we want. So these are the pieces that we want cut out. I should get some tape and tape that together before it falls apart on me. Um, basically not a big enough piece of paper, but we're going to go for Let's transfer it to a piece of metal and then we'll have something. Thanks for coming back, I really appreciate it. Gonna get a piece of metal. Just gonna show you what Nathan's doing right at the present moment. Nathan has built a hinge for the front end of the car. So he's built a hinge for it, and now he's trying to get it tight and right so he can hook it all up together. Uh, we will come back, we will make a video what exactly what Nathan has done there. He's building the flip front end on it, uh, so there will be a time when he makes the hinge, has it all done, and we'll have to cut the front end open, lift it up, and see what happens. We'll take you with us when it happens, or get close to it. But right now, let's do this. Let's just make a piece for inside the door. Huh? Yeah, how do you do that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put this on here. I want a piece of tape. Tape that back together because I'm going to cut it. So 
want to tape that there. We want that piece of metal or piece of Bristol board, sorry. Did I bring them scissors over here, out here with me? Thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Let's grab another pair. Now this piece here, you can see we, we want that cut out. We're gonna go outside the line a little bit, and the reason being is we want to it's gonna go outside of that that hinge inside the door, and that's where we're welded on that edge. This one here is the same way. I'm only going to go so far because if I go, go too far, then my paper will fall off. If you know what I'm trying to say, I've got no paper out there. I don't want to cut that right through. It's going to go this far. I have to guess on my pattern a little bit. That's what i got to do. This is the bottom part of the hinge that goes inside the door. So this will go like this. I'm going to have to cut this metal, no doubt, in my mind. I'm going to measure from the top of this how far I have to go down to hit the inside of the door. And I know Nathan's got a tape measure because he usually carries one with him. Yep, thank you. I'm going to go to the other side. Just going to make a measurement. What, a, what, a, what I'm going to measure is from the top of the hinge on the door down to I hit this piece right here. That's all I want to know. And that way there we can have something to hold everything in nice and right and tight. Um, 22 inches would be fantastic. 22 and a half would be better. 22 and a half. I'm gonna to have to cut this off and make this straight and right before I go for it. It's just got too much going on here. It's gonna take it down as far as the shear there and shear one, ni one nice straight edge on it and then I can start making the piece. And the straight edge would be the edge of the door going down. That's what that would be. Knock, the, knock this end off. There's another tape measure. Give that to my queen, Jolene. That's not where the coffee cups go, I know, but... Jolene made me coffee in bed this morning. She woke up at 7, looking like a 10, as always. Jolene's got a coffee date today. She does. Hair all straightened up, ready to rock and roll. Let's get a straight line going. So that's all we want is a straight line. That's, that's, that's the one I want right there. We'll go back and put that pattern on. Now, I am guessing, I'm guessing when it comes to this a little bit, obviously I got that cut out. I got half of that cut there. I haven't got it long enough. I'm just guessing, but you know, it's an educated guess. What did I say how long I want, sweetheart? 22 and a half. So we'll go 22 and a half. I'm going to say that that's the top of it. This is the part that we want. Ah. Um, that's going to have to be drawn in longer, obviously. Let's take a, um, see if I got this right. Yep, let's take a ruler, finish this down here, right? Let's finish this. Taking in some ways, somewhere is the same. 
Just guessing. Just guessing. Let's think about that now. Let's think about it now. This is where the hinge is, where the hinge is. Um, this is where it's going to connect at the top of the door. That's the top of the door. That's the cutout for the hinge going. That's the cutout for that hinge. This part here is going to go down to the bottom of the door and connect on the bottom. So the hinge goes in there. I'm going to take a measurement here and see if we're even close. Set. Looking for this piece for here. Nope, needs to be longer. Needs to be a little, see the bottom of the hinge right there? Uh, we need at least eight and we only get seven and a quarter. We'll weld that piece on this piece. Somehow, some way. Let's pull her back out. <clears throat> now, it's gonna add some to the bottom of it, I guess. Or take a. I got too much. Why have I only got seven there? I need eight. Did I use too much at the top? Uh, ah. Let's do it again. Let's, let's do it again. You can do it this way. We need more at the bottom. I'll do this. That'll work. Let's do this. A little extra. Mainly, I'm hoping that the hinge cutout is, is right, I guess. Did I short myself again? Why am I doing that? I needed eight, didn't I not? Grr. Why am I measuring wrong? Measuring wrong. Terrible. I'm not measuring, I guess. I'm tracing. Let's get this up here or something. Need eight from the bottom of that. Stop it. Eight. So what I'm gonna do just for shits and giggles. Nope, can't do that. Do this. That. I want uh measure one of these. That's the one. Actually, what I want, I want to go down the outside of that, so why wouldn't I not? Up that line there. All right, now I'm thinking that we have a piece now. After, after, uh, what can I say? After making the pattern wrong a few times. And it happens sometimes, it's not always. 
I mean, I'll have to think about this for a second. This is the top. This is the bottom. Everything's okay. That's all I, that's all I had to tell myself. Everything's okay. Straight line would be nice. <clears throat> That's why we're cutting it on this. <clears throat> Ouch. See the crooked line? I got a straight mad at What the? <sighs> wow. What's wrong with you, GA? That's yeah, okay. See what happens. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Where am I? I knew it. I'm having a rough one here this morning. I'm having a rough one. Cut my line straight. My pattern's right. Let's go cut that off. It got veered off there a little bit. Not what I wanted, but that's what it did. The zip cut was right here. Going to the other side. That's not it. It's on that chair. Half a mess. Terrible cut. that we got something that'll slide over top of them hinges, I'm hoping. Not interested in putting a bunch of dents in the metal, but it is going underneath, underneath the door card, so you would not see it, but let's face it, I don't want to damage it all up too much. And I'm hoping that it works. <laughs> If not, I gotta do it again. What I'm, what I'm hoping for is it slides right over top of that. These pieces come out through that hole and then I can weld it on and I can trim it off after. I want enough. Should have grabbed my marker. I didn't. Now, what has to happen? Right, cool. We need to get off a little bit more than that. I need to cut this off and get this in on an angle. We'll get that shoved in there. So, that fits pretty decent. 
I think I can get that. That'll go on there. And I think that'll go on there. We basically want to get this cut off and get it in there. Gotta get a marker. My fault. My fault. And we'll take and bring the grinder right over with us. That way there we can cut it right over here. Plug it in here. Still. I'm gonna end up cutting that piece off, I think. So basically, we basically want to weld that right down along this piece of metal here with that piece of flat stock we get in there. Basically, I would think, and we would. Let's go like that. Let's get in, get in where we want it. Now. And my stills. I'll pick a line. This one. I'm going to cut a line. I also have to cut that off to get that pushed up in there. I'm not going to be able to reach it on that, I don't think. Nope. Let's shove it in there and see if we got halfways going on what we need to go on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that one. Gonna come down just a little bit. I'm thinking. That's fine. Put that on there. Yeah. I think that one's gonna fit. It needs a little bit out of it. This one. Straight along down with the door. I'd like to cut. Cut that out of there. We'll join that back up after. Cut that and we'll join that up after. We may put that in there. We'll weld that down along there. Just got to get it to fit, that's all. Got to get it to fit. And we're not long enough there on that one. Get a little bit longer. That one there's a little too long, but that's fine. All right. Let's do a couple modifications. And then we'll slide her back in there and see if we can get it to work. I'm thinking this one here has to be a little bit longer. Okay. Yeah. Can you can, like. You want unplugged? You want unplugged? All right, there's good. Good.
go hook it up on the other side and we can cut that top piece out that we want cut out. Put that down inside there. So I can use it. Now I want to cut this stuff out. I don't matter about that, I don't think. Piece of metal there I want to shove in. That's fine. Just want to take that sharp corner off that. Basically, want to get that sharp corner off that. Now I have to get out and get our piece again. Yeah. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up first. We're we'll rubbing on it. There's not much paint on anything here on the inside anyway. She's quite, quite free. Let's get her a piece and try it on, see what happens. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we cook them with gas. Now we want that. Come on up there. That little spot right down there is bugging me. See that little spot right down there? It's trying to deter me. I get that cut off, get the welder in here, and then we'll secure it. Actually, I need, I'd like to have it like a little bit cut off the back here. We're a little bit too long. Second, we'll pull it out, see if it works. Actually, that's nice. I can weld down the edge of the door there. No, that's nice. I think I'm going to leave, I'll leave that. Leave it. And weld that down the edge of the door. No, let's turn the welder on. <coughs> Helmet. Stick this in through the door. We'll ground this bad boy to the fender. We'll turn it on. We'll put some gloves on, because we have them. We have them. Let's tack that piece in there. And I guess the, the whole issue with this thing is to get it on in the right spot. Like, it basically, I'm going to, you know, I've got it figured out, but I basically have to make sure that I get it in the right spot before I tack it on. That's the only issue I have right at the present moment. Ah, thanks sweetheart. Nope, that's the welder. 
How you making it, Meatball? Drawing, didn't I? Flip front end, didn't I? Gotta turn that welder on. <laughs> Baby got the welder for me. All right. Just trying to get this done within the time we have. That's all, you know, basically. Now, to me, it's sitting pretty pretty darn good there. I probably shouldn't even have touched it. I shouldn't even have touched it, maybe. Now, I see one, one thing that's bugging me already. That little tiny piece of weld right there is, is hitting my piece right on the corner. It's not giving me a nice flat surface to the door. That's what it's not giving me. Right there does. That makes it too long. Then I have to get out, grab a cord, and do it again. This is where it'll get you. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's not long enough. I know. I have to cut this instead. Now, there we go. Now, see how it sits over that piece of metal? I just cut that tip, tip off. Now it's, now it's fitting good. Now I just got to hold it in place and get it where I want it. I like that corner right there to be honest with you it's nice right there I'm gonna drive right here now let's get this bad boy to fit piece of weld caught on that pin. <laughs> ah, a little piece of weld right there. Damn it. Son of a... Good. Trying to weld it down here. Right here on this priest. No, I got a helmet on. Let's, let's use it. The helmet, that is. Let's tap this on here. No, I want to push that in. Just want to get it in the right spot. I got this bent up a little bit from, from uh, prying on it. And I want to get it in there as best I can. On the back side of this part, this stuff, ha this this piece of um, this piece of uh, flat stock has to be cut down a little bit, and I'm going to have to cut that down when I get the door open. 
because I can't cut it down at the present moment because it's not going to work for me. I might weld that in there like that. Let's push that in there like so. What's going to happen? I'm tacking that all on there right now, but when I open the door up, then I can flapper wheel this edge all off and weld it all the way around and make it nice. And then I can shove a piece in here and, and cap that end off in here. We can cap that off if we want to. In there, we can cap that off. But I, basically, I want to get the metal stuck to the door. That then there, we're going to weld that at the bottom. You see down here at the bottom, we're going to weld it there, nice and tight. Mm. Feels pretty good. Let's pull this in. Weld this. We can pry that out from the inside there. Now this piece, like I said, that's holding that out some. And we're going to tack it right in the middle. That's good enough. Tack it in the middle. Like I said, all that's going to be buffed off. It would be nice to have something go down this edge to make this edge strong. Like that's just a flat piece of metal. It's, it's strong, but let's face it, we can make it stronger by adding something. And uh, they give us a piece of square stock, they did, in the kit. So we can put that in there like that. We'll aim, we'll aim that off or get that bent up there a little bit better. I haven't got anything with me in here at all. That's the hard part. Um, I'm just going to bend this up. We can weld that in there like so. Not affecting anything, I don't think. So let's, let's, let's do that. Weld that right along there. Not affecting nothing. Hold the bottom. Now we're just going to make this, flush this out. Putting the weld right to it in here. And the reason I'm putting the welder into it in here, there's nothing really I'm going to, I fear that I'm going to warp because it's being covered with the door skin. So I'm just kind of welding it up, you know. There's no fear of destroying a panel. Keep welding through there. Yeah, there's no fear of destroying a panel on this, I don't think. I'm just trying to get it. We're making strength is what we're making. We're not worried about anything other than strength. And it's strong already. I can't even get that back out. <laughs> I can, but. Hmm. I want to pry that out so it's, it'd be nice if it pried it out and it was flush. Um, ba -ba 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 Will you pass me in a hammer, please, and thank you? Uh, oh, that's beautiful.
That's a beautiful hammer. There we go. Yeah, see that? Pull that out. Ah, don't want to do that. I want to pry that out so it would be nice in there, but I haven't had time with that. Ah, there we go. Ouch. Ouch. Hot. Hot. Now I have feel like we have something to open that door. That's nice and tight there. Try to make it right. Now that, that makes that tight nailed all the way along there. We will mess with that here in a second. I can hammer that out a little bit, maybe get something in there and pry that so it's a little bit flusher. But you can see with that there, it's tied to that, that tied to that. Uh, this is tied to these pieces, which I want. That's, that's what's going on. Now when I open the door, this piece should be secure enough to hold them, these hinge brackets. And when I take the door off, I unwind those, and then we'll have to pull the door off. So the door is ready to, um, the door is ready to be opened, I think. The only issue I'm having, I'm not, not really even having an issue back here, where this piece is, where I want to weld this on, I've got to make that thinner um, with the door because it was, it was thicker and I'll, I'll get that shape when I open it up and see what goes on. But it should not go anywhere. I also could put, let's do this. So that should not go anywhere, just tack it in there even a little bit better. So it can't go anywhere, that's all that I want. Now, let's open the door up and have suicide doors. Just looking at it. Just looking at it. Well, it's true. Looks good to me. Thanks for coming back, everybody. Thanks for coming back. Suicide door day. Let's um take this off. Pull this out of the way. I might even have to cut the door open. That pulls out. That pulls out, I think. We'll just knock that out. Don't care about the hinges in the front, they're pretty trashed. Now, that will come off that one, but that won't come out of that one. Pause it for a second. You need to use the little boys' room. Have a nervous pee before the door comes open. Um, I should have. That's so close to. That won't come out because that's holding it. I can just cut that off. That won't come out, no problem. And then the door should open. The only thing I'm, I'm really nervous about is this back piece. I, I've never put these in before, and that is a. They're, that's fitting pretty good, you know, for that to come open. All right, let's cut it. 
get the grinder and cut it. I said I was going to do it, and I'm going to do it. Basically. Basically. I'm thinking that everything's tight and right there. Um, didn't want to do the other door because I would have locked myself in. Then I would have been climbing out the trunk and just left it alone and uh, waited for you guys. Mm. I'm just going to cut that hinge off. have to have a blade that's too short. Try this one. Works right there. Use her up. Use her up. Use her up. Use her up. Man, I'm telling you. It should open up. It should. It should come off that and open up. What's stopping me? It might be jamming on the back, who knows? Just watch it. Jamming on the back. Nope. I'm gonna go in and beat the door with a hammer. Not sure if she's stuck right there in the corner. Looks like that, that hinge right there in the corner. Stick it. What is going on here? What is sticking? Ah, ah, I know what it might be. I know exactly what it is. There's a, there's, see this thing here? It's inside that door. Now, here it goes! See, I could pry it, pry it, um, pry it open. I'm pry her open, I guess. Or that has to be cut. Get in there. See, I gotta cut that. Put something in there. Get a zip cut blade. Cut that off. It's trying me, people. It's trying me. That's for sure. It's trying me. And that gap is getting closer. Not sure what I'm gonna have to do there. See what happens. But that tab's in there holding that, and we're gonna we're gonna cut it off. Gotta get a zip cut blade.
It does look like it's close in the back, eh? Like it's getting closer. I'm just kind of wondering if them hinge, like, we'll see. That's what I was worried about when we first done it, is if it was too close and the hinge would, hinges would draw it in, we'll see. I played with the hinges a little bit before I uh, put it in there, and they do push the door out. As you swing the door open, it does push the door out a little bit, but um, does it do it far enough? We'll soon find out. Just gonna let that in there, try not to break the blade. Gonna go to the other side, see if I can get that blade in there and cut them tabs of the mirrors off. And now that section there that holds that door from opening too far is gonna have to be in the back, basically. now you want to go to the other side I think it's going to come open now listen hold your fingers and hold your tongues and hold your toes and I'm not sure what else to hold <sighs> serious that that piece of that would not look, see how it looked. I couldn't get the zip cut in front, it still stayed on there, so I had to beat the door to get it open. You know what I mean? Like, urgh, make me work. And this grinder, listen, I'm gonna tell you something. This has gotta be the worst grinder I've ever bought in my entire life. This thing here, this Milwaukee thing. I beat this thing, look, it's unplugged, it comes unplugged, it comes on thing at the top. It's absolutely terrible. What's that? Open, huh? <laughs> I did, but... Terrible. Now, if we want to come over for a second... On this door, you can see how I put this piece of flat stock in there, and it's out past the door. Like, this piece of metal is not laying flat against that, so I have to cut this piece of metal back, this piece of flat stock back here, and it's going to be a little bit of a, an issue, but it is what it is. So I'm going to cut that back so it goes with the door. Comes down, and then we got right here, there's the door. So there's quite a bit that I want chewed out of that. And that's fine. What I'm going to do now, watch yourself through here, back and out of there. Let's, let's close the door. We've got adjustment in here, so what happens is, when we take these out, okay, pull them out, the door will pull out and, and come off. And then we can put it back on. None of this stuff has changed. No, none of the welds have moved. The door opened, never hit the back, did it? Ooh, that sounds good. Let's try it. Nice. It's got a little bit of a... Let one check the back. Let's check the back one and see what happens. This on this part here, we're flush here, absolutely perfect. And right here, it's a little bit in. We want the door part out farther than that, so we'll go along here. We'll beat that outside that door with a doll with a dolly and a hammer, and knock that out to this. If you can see, we're good here. We're great here. Right here, the door needs to come out a little bit on that edge. Now let's open the door a little bit here. Open the door, and uh, I want to check that back. Yeah, all kinds of room. Beautiful. Now, I don't know... Good, opens up like that. Your piece would be on the back. So now, now what comes in now, I've got to close all this stuff in uh, and make it tighten, right? And that's basically just capping it and welding it along here. That uh, shouldn't be an issue. It almost looks like I could cut, I could cut all that off, but I'm not going to. Not going to, no. Um, but that's basically what I do. I've got to take the door off, 
uh, fill this, fill that little cap in there. Fill that cap and cap that off. Fill that in there. And I got to come in here on the back side and, and fill this stuff in here where I open the door up to put the hinges through. That shouldn't be a problem. But um, let's let's face it. Now we did yesterday. How long did we take yesterday? Forty-five minutes. Whatever it was, we had say we'll, we'll say an hour. We had in this one and, and putting the hinge in, and then we had an hour putting it in on the door. So basically, two hours you can uh, French your door. It's not finished, but you watched it in, in full time um, being brought together. In a couple hours, you can put them French door in one side. So you would be a, a good day putting and trying to make the, the suicide doors work. Still got to put a little plug in here and put a latch in there. We got this little piece right here. We got these little things here. We will probably show you how we're going to do that. I'm just going to leave them there for now. But I've got another door to do on the other side. Now I get this door open. I can get back in and out, get in and out. So we'll just we'll just go with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You happy with that, sweetheart? It looks good. Just got to do a little more finessing around there, and, and we'll, we'll be fantastic. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming back. I really appreciate it. Suicide doors. Uh, suicide doors. Cool. Mac, tomorrow we'll be here.